Choose My Plate. Learning how to choose healthy food will contribute to your overall well-being. My Plate was developed to make your selection of appropriate foods easier. One look and you can visualize what should be on your plate and in what proportion. By following the My Plate guidelines, you will feel better, have more energy, and help reduce your risk of nutrition-related health problems later in life. It's the first step to healthy eating. The Food Guide Pyramid was first developed in 1992. Many people found it difficult to follow and understand. What did the stripes mean? And why were some stripes whiter than others? The My Plate icon is easier to follow. With My Plate, you can visualize that you should make half your plate fruits and vegetables, a quarter grains, a quarter protein, and dairy. The 10 tips to a great plate are balanced calories, enjoy your food, but eat less, avoid oversized portions, eat fruits, vegetables, and whole grains often, make half your plate fruits and vegetables, switch to fat-free or low-fat milk, make half your grains whole grains, eat less solid fats, sugar, and salt, compare sodium in food, and drink water instead of sugary drinks. Let's take a closer look at the My Plate icon. First up is the vegetables group. Make half your plate fruits and vegetables. Any vegetable or 100% vegetable juice counts as a member of the vegetable group. Vegetables may be raw or cooked, fresh, frozen, canned, or dried, and may be eaten whole, cut up, or mashed. Vegetables are organized into five groups. This is based on the vitamins and minerals that are in them. Remember, the darker the color of vegetables, the higher they are in vitamins and minerals. Some commonly eaten vegetables in each subgroup are dark green vegetables, such as broccoli, spinach, and Brussels sprouts. Red and orange vegetables include carrots, pumpkin, red peppers, sweet potatoes, and tomatoes. Beans and peas include black beans, kidney beans, lentils, soybeans, and split peas. Starchy vegetables can include corn, green peas, plantains, and potatoes. Other vegetables such as artichokes, asparagus, avocado, eggplant, onions, and cucumbers. Next is the fruit group. Here too, color is important. The more colors you eat, the better. Make half your plate fruits and vegetables. Any fruit or 100% fruit juice counts as part of the fruit group. Fruits may be fresh, canned, frozen, or dried, and may be whole, cut up, or pureed. Some commonly eaten fruits are apples, bananas, cherries, peaches, and pears. The berry group includes strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries. Melons include cantaloupe, honeydew, and watermelon. You may find mixed fruits in a fruit salad or a fruit cocktail. 100% fruit juice can be found in orange, apple, grape, and grapefruit juice. Next is the grains group. Make at least half the grains you eat whole grains. Any food made from wheat, rice, oats, corn, or another cereal grain is a grain product. Examples of grains are bread, pasta, oatmeal, cereals, crackers, and rice. Grains are divided into two groups, whole grains and refined grains. 100% whole grains contain the entire grain kernel. They are the most nutritious grain choices and add essential fiber to our diet. My plate recommends that 50% of our grains be whole grain. Examples include whole wheat flour, whole wheat pasta, rolled oats, quinoa, brown rice, and popcorn. Refined grains have been milled. This is done to give grains a finer texture and improve their shelf life. However, 
It also removes lots of nutrients, such as fiber, iron, and many B vitamins. Some examples of refined grain products are white flour breads, white rice, cookies, saltine crackers, cake, and pie. The best way to know if you are eating a whole grain is to check the ingredient list on the package. The first ingredient should say whole grain or whole wheat. Dairy foods can provide vitamin D, potassium, and phosphorus in addition to calcium. Switch to fat-free or low-fat 1% milk. Foods included in the dairy group are milk, yogurt, and cheese. All milk and many foods made from milk are considered part of this food group. Dairy group choices should be fat-free or low-fat. Foods from this group provide vitamin D, potassium, and phosphorus. However, foods made from milk that have little to no calcium, such as cream cheese, cream, and butter, are not included. If you choose milk that is not fat-free or cheese that is not low-fat, the fat in the product count towards the empty calories category. If sweetened products are chosen, the added sugars also count towards your empty calories category. If you are lactose intolerant, you may still find lactose-free or lower lactose products available. Next is the protein group. Select a variety of protein foods to get as many health benefits as possible. Vegetarian options in the protein foods group include beans and peas, processed soy products, and nuts and seeds. When choosing protein foods, keep your portions small and lean. Portion sizes should be three or four ounces cooked, which is about the size of the palm of your hand. All foods made from meat, chicken, turkey, seafood or fish, beans and peas, eggs, processed soy products, nuts and seeds are considered part of the protein foods group. Processed meats such as ham, sausage, hot dogs, and deli meats can have a lot of added sodium. Check the nutrition facts label on packages to help cut back. Select fish that is rich in omega-3 fatty acids. The omega-3 fats are good for your skin, your blood, your muscles, and your brain. Fish with omega-3s include salmon, tuna, Pacific oysters, and mackerel. When you are thirsty, water is an excellent choice to drink. It provides the fluid your body needs to keep you cool. It helps your body dispose of waste and helps circulate nutrients throughout your body. The general tip is to drink eight eight ounce servings of water each day. Be sure to have water available when outdoors or doing other physical activity. Not drinking enough water can lead to overheating and dehydration. Flavored waters or vitamin waters and sports drinks usually have added sweeteners and artificial ingredients. The added sweeteners in these drinks add calories. Be sure to read the nutrition facts label and ingredients on these beverages. Many of the foods and beverages Americans eat and drink contain empty calories. Empty calories are calories from solid fats and or added sugars. Foods containing high amounts of solid fats and added sugars add calories to the food but few or no nutrients. Solid fats are fats that are solid at room temperature, like butter, beef fat, and shortening. Added sugars are sugars and syrups that are added when foods or beverages are processed and prepared. The foods and beverages that provide the most empty calories for Americans include cakes, cookies, pastries, and donuts, sodas, energy drinks, sport drinks, and fruit drinks, cheese, pizza, chips and french fries, ice cream, sausages, hot dogs, bacon, and ribs. Many of these products contain both solid fat and added sugars. You can find ways to cut the fat and added sugars by looking for lower fat versions of these products. You can choose water, milk, or sugar-free beverages instead of drinks with sugar. We all need to be active every day. Eating right and being physically active are the keys to a healthy lifestyle. It affects your mood, your brain power, and your body's ability to metabolize or burn calories. 
Physical activity is using energy to move your body. Walking, gardening, biking, climbing the stairs, playing soccer, or dancing the night away are all good examples of being active. MyPlate defines three activity levels based on the amount of time a person spends being physically active during the day. These are sedentary, moderately active, and active. A sedentary activity is when a person gets 30 minutes or less of physical activity in a day. Moderately active is 30 to 60 minutes of physical activity. An active person has more than 60 minutes of physical activity in a day. For health benefits, physical activity should be moderate or vigorous intensity. The best way to incorporate physical activity into your day is to pick activities that you like and start by doing what you can, at least 10 minutes at a time. Every bid adds up and the health benefits increase as you spend more time being active. Youth should be active for at least one hour every day. At a minimum, adults and older adults should aim for two hours and 30 minutes each week. When you're active, you use the food you eat better, you sleep better, your weight will stay in line, you have more energy, and chances are you'll feel happier. You can choose moderate or vigorous activities or a mix of both each week. The level of intensity is based on the extent to which the activity makes you breathe harder and your heart beat faster. Only moderate and vigorous intensity activities count towards meeting your physical activity needs. Try to limit sedentary activities, like sitting for long periods of time, watching TV, or using the computer. With vigorous or active activities, you get similar health benefits in half the time it takes you with moderate ones. You can replace some or all of your moderate activity with vigorous activity. Although you are moving, light intensity activities do not increase your heart rate, so you should not count these towards meeting the physical activity recommendations. These activities include walking at a casual pace, shopping, and doing light household chores. If you're not being very active now, Increasing your strenuous activities will make you feel better and tone your body. Some examples of moderate activities include walking at approximately 3 miles per hour, general gardening like raking, trimming shrubs, dancing, water aerobics, canoeing, and tennis. Examples of vigorous or active physical activities include running or jogging, at approximately five miles an hour, walking very fast at about four and a half miles per hour, bicycling more than 10 miles per hour, heavy yard work such as chopping wood, swimming, aerobics, competitive basketball, and tennis singles. A main message of my plate is calorie balance. Calorie balance refers to the relationship between the calories you get from the foods you eat and drink and the calories you use by being active. If you want to know the number of calories you should eat in a day, you can get your personal daily calorie plan at www.choosemyplate.gov. People who are successful at managing their weight have found ways to keep track of how much they eat in a day, even if they don't count every single calorie. Tips for balancing calories include avoiding oversized portions. Piling your plate or having too much food on your plate leads to oversized portions. Use a smaller plate, bowl, and glass. Stop eating when you feel satisfied, not full. Take your time to eat and enjoy your food. The MyPlate website, www.choosemyplate.gov, has numerous tips suggestions, and interactive activities to help you eat well. Take time to check out this valuable resource. Can you visualize what your plate would look like today? Are there foods you need to increase? Maybe you're eating too few vegetables, fruits, whole grains, or dairy products. Keep in mind that in order for you to get all your essential nutrients and remain healthy, you need to make healthful eating a habit. The good news is if you move to the MyPlate model, 
and if you choose lots of different foods and food groups, those missing nutrients will be found. Remember these tips for the foods you should increase. Make half your plate fruits and vegetables. Make at least half your grains whole grains. And switch to fat-free or low-fat 1% milk. Certain foods and food components, if eaten in excess, can increase your risk for health problems later in life. These include sodium or salt, saturated fat, trans fat, added sugars, and refined grains. Knowing what is in food comes from reading labels and requesting nutrition information when eating out at restaurants. Cut back on foods that contain a lot of empty calories and foods that have been overly processed. When you fill up on too many of these foods, you don't have an appetite for healthy foods. Remember these tips for foods to reduce. Compare sodium levels in soup, bread, and frozen meals and choose the foods with the lower numbers. Select canned foods labeled low sodium, reduced sodium, or no salt added. Drink water instead of sugary drinks. Remember that soda, energy drinks, and sport drinks are a major source of added sugar and calories in American diets. Replace refined grains with whole grains often. Try eating whole wheat bread instead of white bread or brown rice instead of white rice. Want to know the amount of each food group you need daily? You can use my plate for the quick and easy decisions of what to eat. You can get more detailed information on the MyPlate website, www.choosemyplate.gov. Enter your information to receive a customized daily food plan. The MyPlate plan lets you know how much food you should be eating from each food group daily. This sample is for a person who needs 2,000 calories a day to maintain a healthy weight. The daily calorie level will be higher for higher activity levels and lower for less daily physical activity. Reading food labels help you make better food choices and builds an awareness of what nutrients are in particular food items. There is a lot of good information on a food label that can help you make a good choice. It takes a little time to get used to what to look for, but once you find where to look, it makes identifying good food choices easier. Check for calories on the Nutrition Facts panel. Compare that number to your calorie level from your daily food plan. Look at the serving size and compare that with how many you will eat or drink. If you double the serving you eat or drink, you double the calories. Look at other brands or types of the same food. Choose foods with lower calories, saturated fat, trans fat, and sodium. The difference can be big. Check for added sugars using the ingredient list. Some names for added sugars include sucrose, glucose, high fructose corn syrup, corn syrup, maple syrup, and fructose. If the food is a grain food, such as cereal, crackers, or pasta, is the first ingredient a whole grain? Choose whole grain foods over refined grains. It can be easy to eat more than you want, or should, when you eat out. Here are some eating out ideas for getting the most for your money without getting too much added onto your waist. As a beverage choice, ask for water or order fat-free or low-fat milk, unsweetened tea, or other drinks without added sugars. Calories from drinks add up quickly and don't satisfy your hunger. Ask for whole wheat bread if you are ordering a sandwich. Start your meal with a salad packed with veggies to help control hunger and feel satisfied sooner. Ask for dressing on the side and use a light hand when adding it to your salad. Choose main dishes that include vegetables. Order steamed, grilled, or broiled dishes instead of those that are fried. Order from the menu versus the all-you-can-eat buffet. Skip the bread basket. If the main portions at a restaurant are larger than you want, try one of these strategies to keep you from overeating. Order an appetizer-sized portion. Share a main dish with a friend. When your food is delivered, 
set aside or pack half of it to go immediately. To keep your meal on the lower end of calories, fat, and sugars, order foods without creamy sauces or gravies. Add little or no butter to your food and choose fruits for desserts most often. Try to fill your plate with nutrient-rich foods, those that contain substantial amounts of vitamins, minerals, and fiber for relatively few calories. Remember, too many empty calorie foods put your health at risk, so build a healthy plate and make it great.